hello beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel today i wanted to do like a mini vlog video we live full-time in the rv for those of you guys that are new this is our master bedroom here um and we are staying at the beach right now it's been so nice we've been here for the past two weeks and we're gonna stay for another couple of days so it's gonna be like three weeks by the time we leave and i've been loving it so much i've been loving walking lately i feel like that's just a great way to get your body moving and i aim for 10,000 steps although i will say my average is probably like five to seven and i love doing it in the morning because it kind of like starts your day off with an easy four or five thousand steps i'll do like a mile down the beach and a mile back so that's what i've been doing i'll put like my airpods in listen to a podcast or some music made myself a dirty matcha latte so i'm gonna go do that and I'll show you guys the beach as well. I'm gonna bring my phone, so I'll film, film a little bit at my phone. It's really noisy, so I'm trying not to talk too much. Probably just do like clips of the beach. Um, and then come back, I wanna take a shower and then uh, share some things that I got off of Amazon and do like a little mini Amazon haul. So if you guys are interested in that, then just keep watching. My sister-in-law, Tina, told me about the Huberman Lab podcast. He has some videos on YouTube. Um, but this is, I think this is like his latest one, I'm not sure. It's how to optimize your water quality intake for health. Sounds interesting because I usually do not drink water, at least not as much as I should. And I'll talk about that uh, when I'm doing like my Amazon haul. So I think I'm gonna listen to this. They're really, really long, but he has tons of information, science-based, all that stuff. Let me see if there's like anything interesting. It's like Bluetooth EMF risk says I have like my AirPods in. I know they're not that great, but I don't know. I just, I really like using them. I know some people have like these sleeves that they put on them or stickers that are supposed to lower EMF radiation or something. I'm not sure. I just looked at it briefly. Let's just listen to this one and then I'll let you guys know what I think. a stingray on my walk we haven't seen anything like this on the beach i guess there's stingrays in the ocean which is kind of crazy i mean that sounded so dumb of course there's stingrays in the ocean but i mean usually when you're at the beach you don't think like oh i'm gonna get i'm gonna see a stingray you know what i'm saying um but i kind of wish the kids were here to see it i mean i'm presuming it's dead based off the looks of it and the flies kind of sad but kind of cool to see like what are the chances i'm pretty much back at the rv but i got to a little over 5,000 steps so that's really awesome but this podcast is actually very interesting so i'm gonna go and um change into like a bathing suit and sit right here in front of the rv on the beach and finish listening to it make myself a smoothie and then um go ahead and take a shower after <laughs> It's just so beautiful out. I feel like 70 degrees is the perfect weather to, to enjoy the beach because it's not too hot. The only downside is the water is still a little bit too cold. My kids are still out there, but I'm gonna take a shower real quick, wash the hair, clean up a little bit here because it's like a hot mess express, and then share my little Amazon haul. Just took a shower, squeaky clean, rough dry the hair because I want to film this portion before my kids come back in. Aviana's in here, but the other two are still playing outside with my husband because when everybody's in here, it's just so loud. I already filmed um, this Amazon haul before and I was going through the footage and like everybody was yelling, the conditioner's going. It was just such a hot mess. So I was like, no, I have to, I have to redo that. Even I wouldn't watch that. But I wanted to do a mini Amazon haul of things that I recently purchased 
collection stuff of Amazon, mainly uh, fashion-y type stuff, and then also some random things like water bottles. By the way, the episode on water from the Huberman Lab was really good. I'm only halfway through because his podcasts are really long, but there's very uh, science-based and he really helps you like understand things instead of just like seeing trends and things um, like people will say like oh you have to do this you have to do that he kind of goes through like how your body works why and all of that very interesting so thank you to my sister Latina for telling me about it the water one is actually very interesting he goes through like um, cold plunges which I feel like are definitely trending right now cold showers how that can be beneficial the science behind that and then goes into how water works in your body um, some chemistry but he makes it like very understandable so very interesting I am NOT a water drinker I'm almost embarrassed to say this now because I definitely felt convicted listening to his podcast I just don't like drinking water I've never really liked drinking water he says that for every for the first 10 hours from the moment you wake up you should be drinking eight ounces every hour and he goes through and says like he doesn't mean um you know consecutively the first hour drink eight ounces the second hour drink eight ounces but within the first 10 hours since you wake up it would total out to be 80 ounces i don't get anywhere near that um but i did recently buy a tumbler this one from simple modern and i actually have a friend that told me about this tumbler specifically a few years ago well actually she mentioned it on her stories and she said that this one is great if you struggle with drinking water because she had the same thing um, and then I just never paid much mind to it and I feel like the Stanley took up and running as like the trendiest thing since sliced bread I don't know I'm not big on like the whole Stanley trend if you have one that's fine but I feel like I could find a much better tumbler for less so I saw this and I picked it up mainly because we needed something to keep like iced water in or water in general for when we go from one camp to another usually we have we travel for like three four hours and then all i hear is like i'm thirsty and i don't have any drinks in the car um, or any of the bottles that i have like spill so i was like right i'm just gonna buy a tumbler that like we can all use and i saw this one i thought it was really cute it has like this cheetah print right here and it comes in black and then also comes in other colors they do have one that like has a handle but that one apparently became viral on TikTok or somewhere, I don't know, and so it's absolutely hard to come by. It's like always unavailable. I would have bought that one, but again, it's unavailable. I would always see these videos of like Stanley girls saying, oh, people say the Stanley makes you drink more water. I didn't believe it until I got one and it actually does. And I'd be watching those and I'm like, does it though? Like, does it really make you drink more water? And I've come to the conclusion that they were definitely right. Now it's not the Stanley that makes you drink more water it's any tumbler so I got this one and I feel like the fact that I have water in here it's usually by my bed it's in the kitchen it's like within reach so it's easier for you to create those habits and it just definitely helps me drink more water especially if you're like carrying it around it will help you drink more water so if you don't like drinking water um, grab yourself any kind of tumbler but if you are looking for a tumbler I think this one's really great I don't usually like iced water so i don't put a lot of ice in here if any at all i don't know if that sounds gross to some people so i can't speak in terms of like how long it holds ice but i had some people message me and say that they love it even better than the stanley so i guess at the end of the day it just depends on personal preference but really love it and then i got like a coffee one the ones that you guys saw me do my lavender latte in matcha latte that one dr keeps my drinks and ice drinks or hot drinks cold as well and it's like the perfect size it's like 12 ounces so it's great if we want to like if I want to go for walks and I want like a coffee or if we're in the car ride so love that one that one's from simple modern as well if you want if you want to know what it looks like I um, showed it a few times somewhere in the beginning I believe so that's my little spiel on tumblers the rest of the items are basically fashion items first thing I want to talk about are these sunglasses I just thought they were cute they were like under $15 and I needed some kind of new sunglasses that were I have ones that are like retro looking with like the orange large orange aviator types I want something that was a little bit more chic and sleek so I picked up these they came in this case like this I feel like Amazon has some really great sunglasses fine so if you ever want like any nice uh, fashion statement type sunglasses Amazon's definitely a nice place to go to they are plastic very lightweight I don't know I just really liked how they looked so I picked these guys up right here and then next, I got myself that cap that I showed in the beginning of the video. And this is probably my favorite purchase out of everything that I got. Represent New York. I mean, I'm not like a huge fan, but I don't know. I've just always, like I'm from New York and it's just kind of like we grew around people that love New York Yankees. So it just kind of like stuck. But I saw this cap and I thought it was really nice. In the pictures, it looks more kind of white, almost like my shirt. But in person, I would say it's more cream ivory. And then the letters are like a dark, dark navy blue. 
and it is a little bit pricey it's like $35 or so but the structure of this cap is so good like it doesn't give me a weird shape or anything like that because I have a few caps I have one from H&M like really affordable ones this one is like very structured and sturdy and it like looks really good and I wear this all the time I feel like even though it's cream with blue it matches basically every single outfit that I have and I, this is probably my favorite purchase so if you've been looking for a good cap check Amazon sometimes you'll be surprised next I'm going to show you guys some fun sneaker finds these I'm actually going to return and I already bought the next size up I've been looking into the Adidas Sambas certain trends I don't care for but certain trends I will see and I'm like wow that's actually really cute I really like that um, and the Adidas Sambas were definitely one of them they just looked like they would work really well with so many different outfits but I wasn't crazy about the price tag and then they were always out of stock but still I'm not crazy about that price tag even like the new balances that I was wearing in the beginning of the video for my walk they're actually kids sizes that I got on Amazon they're not available but they're very similar to like the adult version very very similar there are differences but they were like under $70 versus paying like over $100 but I was perusing Amazon and then I saw these right here and these are the Puma Super Liga OG and they have like that same gummy bottom they have a little bit of black white and then that cream so they very much resemble the color tones they obviously still have their differences but they're similar so they're not like an exact dupe but they are similar and the reason why I'm returning them is because they are already narrow a lot of reviews will say that they are narrow which they are but my toes are literally like right here and I just know that with time that's just not going to be comfortable the website recommended going down one and a half sizes because these are a men's shoe and I did just that but I would recommend go down just one size I ordered a seven it should come in in a couple days and I would recommend getting a seven if you are like an eight, eight and a half. So I thought this was another great Amazon find and it was like under, I think I paid like $54 or so. So really great find if you've been loving the whole vibe of um, the Adidas Sambas but you wanted something you like you didn't want to pay the price tag next is this bodysuit and this one I feel like became viral as well I have the black long sleeve one I was perusing Amazon one time and I saw these bodysuits back at that time they were not popular at all it's the Pumi P-U-M-I-E-Y um, and then I started seeing them all over Instagram and like reels and everything and I was like great now they're gonna be hard to come by lo and behold they a lot of the like like the baby blue is really hard to come by um, a lot of the colors that you might want the sizes you might want are like either constantly out of stock so I do want the baby blue one but it's just so hard to get they're supposedly like very similar to the skims one and I have a friend that actually tried skims and she bought the bodysuit the long sleeve one I think and she said the material is very similar uh, they do have like a seam on the inside of the neck right here and then also here in the back I've never tried skim so I can't say but for the most part it has like that seamless look and the material is super super soft if anybody has ever tried crazy yoga butter soft or butter luxe leggings my all-time favorite on Amazon this has like that same same material here's what the bodysuit looks like when it's on very very comfortable very flattering for the most part I do have those pads on like the ones that you can take out of sports bras and stuff and kind of like slap them on there because then otherwise I feel like I wouldn't be able to wear the this in public it is double layered but it is thinner than like the white top that I'm wearing so I feel like I personally need something if you you know you do you I'm just saying like what I did the fabric is very 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 soft absolutely luxurious fabric in my opinion the only thing that I don't like about it is I feel like the cutouts I feel like they're like a little bit too cut out for my liking and this is just for my body shape in particular they're not too bad now that I'm looking at it I feel like it looks totally and completely fine and it's very very nice very very comfortable but I just wanted to show what it looks like on next is this sweatshirt here and this is a Hanes sweatshirt it's super affordable I've washed this so many different times and it's still really really soft on the inside I got it sometime in the winter time I love this gray melange type color it's just so nice and I got it right in a size medium because I wanted a bit of an oversized look and I love when the sleeves are like longer 
So this was just a really great find. So if you're looking for like a nice gray sweatshirt, I would say look into the Hanes Eco Fleece. They have some really nice sweatshirts, very affordable. And then last but not least, I have these jeans here, which I'm excited for because I've been looking for something like this for some time now. These are the Levi's 94 baggy. I have two pairs of the Levi wedgie and I mentioned them in a video. My kids are like slowly coming back in the house. Love the wedgie, but these are like a baggy 90s, early 2000s type jean. They are mid-rise, so they're not low-rise, but they're not high-rise. Depending on your torso, it will, um, they'll fit you differently. I got them in this black material. It's very thick, typical Levi. It feels very vintage. Like it's not that stretchy jean material. It's that very sturdy jean material, which I actually love. And then it has like a straight leg going all the way down. Depending on your torso, they might hit differently. I have a pretty short torso, so they're like literally right at my belly button. And I got my regular size 27, and they have like the perfect amount of loose to them. They don't feel like they're like the, anything here is weird. The waist is a tiny bit, you know, too big, but nothing that I'm like, oh, this is like absolutely ridiculous. Here's what they look like in the mirror. I do wish they were a little bit longer, like they hit right on my ankle. So I do wish they were a little bit longer, but otherwise they're like the perfect 90s type of baggy jean, exactly what I was looking for. So if you were looking for something like this, check out the Levi 94 baggy. I just really like the fit of these. So I guess at the end of the day, honestly, just depends what you're looking for. But yeah, I just wanted to share some really great Amazon finds that I came across recently. I actually have a lot of stuff that I got at Amazon in terms of fashion, especially. I think I did a video last year. I'll link it here. If you guys want to check that out, there's like some great pieces that I still wear to this day. Um, I don't know, I haven't really had any issues with anything that I got off of Amazon. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little mini vlog, hanging out. Check the description box down below if you want links, specific links to items. And then I'll also link the podcast because that was like a really good listen. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.